is good fellas hope you boys are all having a fantastic day we are back with more madden 25 ultimate team confirmed ratings right now we got halfbacks and then later in the afternoon we should have the middle linebackers we also got some tweets out by the absolute legend himself mutt leaks we talked about a lot of them yesterday but we did get some more that we'll talk about at the end of this video but right now i want to dive into the halfbacks because it looks like it just looks weird. And when I say it looks weird, look at some of these jerseys these players are wearing. Derrick Henry in a Ravens jersey, Aaron Jones in a Vikings jersey, Josh Jacobs in a Packers jersey, Joe Mixon in a Texans jersey. It looks really weird. Now, CMC is your lone halfback at 84. Nick Chubb at an 83. Now, I love Nick Chubb. I think Nick Chubb is a very, very good running back. The only issue is he played like three weeks. So did Nick Chubb deserve to be the second highest running back in Madden 25? Well, that's up for you to debate. I necessarily don't hate it, but I could see the argument. Derrick Henry coming in at an 82. That seems a little low. I mean, 184, an 83, and an 82. We got an 82 Saquon Barkley and an Eagles jersey. How did that even just... Wow, it looks so weird as well. Travis Etienne coming in at an 81. Josh Jacobs, 81. Aaron Jones, 81, Joe Mixon, 81, Jonathan Taylor, and Brees Hall at an 80. Now, okay, that's all right. Let's go check out their stats, but I think if you're putting Nick Chubb up at an 83, I think JT should at least be an 81. But all right, let's check out these players' stats. Yesterday's D linemen were not great. CMC, though, there's a, we got a faster, who was faster? We got a fat, we got an 84 speed Micah Parsons yesterday. How is Micah Parsons faster than Christian McCaffrey? Other than that, though, Card obviously looks really good. Also, we should be getting a free CMC that'll be an 81 overall. So how expensive will the CMC be? I mean, probably still pretty damn expensive. Next up, Nick Chubb, 81 speed, 81 excel, 74 agility, 60 catching. I'm really curious to see Derrick Henry's speed. 82 speed. Are you freaking kidding me, EA? You're telling me Derrick Henry is faster than Nick Chubb? Now, this card looks really freaking good, though, so I don't really care, but also the jersey, I still, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to it. Moving on to Saquon with 82 speed, only 61 catching on Saquon Barkley. Huh? All right, keep going on, though. Next up, Travis Etienne, 80 speed, 81 excel, 81 overall. So, I'm a big fan of these overall starting lower, and the stats, honestly, like 84 speed on Micah Parsons is the fastest we've seen so far, and I freaking love that. Now, Josh Jacobs coming in at 80 speed, 81 excel, and a freaking Packers jersey. This is disgusting. Aaron Jones looks like Dalvin Cook, so this doesn't look awful, but 77 speed. If you guys pull Aaron Jones, I hope you guys just freaking sell him. This card is not good. Now moving on over to Joe Mixon. 78 speed, 78 excel, 77 agility. He does have a pretty high catch at 70 though, 81 overall. Now on to Jonathan Taylor. This card actually looks pretty good for an 80 overall. 80 speed, 81 excel, 80 carrying. Depending on what JT's selling for, I don't hate, like, keeping him on your roster. And then last up, Brees Hall, 79 speed. All right, ratings look all right. I guess those are solid. I mean, I'm glad that we have 84 overalls. That is definitely something I'm a big fan of. The speed being just so, like, tanked down. I also don't hate it. If you guys have played CFB at all or college football, it's team more college football in general. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but, like, players having significantly faster speed it's just not fun. So the fact that, you know, 82 speed is one of our fastest halfbacks, I will happily take that. Now let's go check out the leaks because we got a lot more bangers. So yesterday we stopped at this season two LTD intro. I mean, I don't know how they get these things, but I want to watch this Madden, like when you're logging into the game, it looks so freaking cool. Also going to get rid of my camera because of the glare. Yeah, my setup, we are not as uh, set up as I want to be, but here's this intro. Oh my, it, it gives me throwback vibes. This is freaking dope i'm gonna not skip through that for at least the first month because that is so freaking cool i'm a big fan of the welcome intro into the game we also got the press play so once you hit play into the game this is what you're gonna see and i mean it's just the loading screen but it looks so freaking cool he really stepped up their game here now next up we got some graffiti jerseys i don't know what these are gonna be i mean i'm assuming they're jerseys that you can put on your team for mutt but like, I don't know, do people actually use these jerseys? Next up, we got matching jerseys. These look cool. Nothing like out of this world sick. I probably won't be wearing those, but uh, we move on. We watched the season of Boom, but now I want to watch Gridiron Forge, which isn't 
is the only one that doesn't have LTD in front of it. Looks super cool. Definitely not going to complain about that whatsoever, though. Now, moving up here, we got two new abilities I want to talk about. And so now we got two new abilities. Now, I don't know how Muttleeks finds these things, but first up, Pass Protector. It's stronger protection versus quick block sheds moves. Blockers with this ability reduce a rusher's chance of using quick block shed moves while pass blocking. I mean, okay, I don't really know what that's going to look like until we get our hands on the game, but definitely cool to see that EA is adding more like offensive line abilities, as we all know. How many offensive line abilities did we actually use? Secure Protector, Identifier, like, glad they're improving upon the offensive line ability system. And then we also got a new one called Run Protector, Stronger Protection versus Quick Run Block Shed Moves. Blockers with this ability reduce a rusher's chance of using a quick block shed move while run blocking. Again, similar to the pass blocking. Glad to see we're getting more offensive line abilities, said nobody ever except me. All right, so next up, back to the animations that we probably care more about than some offensive line abilities, but we got something for the early access players. If you guys have never played early access before, they give us a set of solo challenges, and usually it's like 70 to 75 overall players to really help us get a head start. This is the animation we're gonna get when we open those players. Last year, we got like a Joe Burrow. It's whatever. Now this one right here, okay, before we act, oh, we'll watch it once through and then we'll talk about it. Like, that's really cool. That's every time you open a pack, you get in that animation. Now, that's going to get really freaking old after about a month. But, like, that's the coolest thing I think I've seen yet. Every single pack, you're going through that. Now, hopefully, EA can update that throughout the year. But right now, definitely cool start. But I could definitely see a world where that gets super annoying super fast. Now, we're moving on to one called Nuck. Now, do not ask me what this means or what a Nuck is. But... Yeah, Nuck. I thought it said Nut, but uh, I can't read. Now moving on to... Okay, this is actually really freaking cool. We'll let this play through once. It's every single Legend player, over 465 different Legend players that are in the Madden 25 database. Now all these players that we're clicking through right here aren't confirmed to be in the game. We don't have 465 Legends go live in the game, but this just gives you an idea of how many different players we actually have the potential to see. Now, I've seen a lot of people, like, stop and, like, screenshot certain players, and one that I was like, what, is they still have Barry Sanders in the file. Now, obviously, these are leaks, so I don't think they're going to put Barry Sanders back in the game if you don't know. Barry said he was done being in Madden, and, well, he's still in their files. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but definitely awesome to see, you know, 465 potential legends clicking on this. It's just all the freaking names you guys can see here, like Sammy Ball, a Madden mobile legend, Anquan Bolden, Bo Jackson is back, oh my god, Ryan Bossworth, Dwayne Bow. love to see a good old Dwayne Bow. Des Bryant, Isaac Bruce, my favorite mutt, Master Chris Carter, a lot of names that we usually see, definitely some new ones, Dante Hall, always a fun player, Algie Crumbler, I freaking hate Algie Crumbler, but Victor Cruz, scrolling down here, you guys can see how many different cool freaking names there actually are that we have the ability to get in the game jamal charles calvin johnson daryl johnson chris johnson Derek johnson jimmy johnson Keyshawn johnson steve johnson tremaine johnson maurice jones drill that's a lot of johnsons keep going through right here i'm putting the camera back on i like when you guys can see me you know if you know you know we got some new playbooks you guys don't know henry Henry's like the best Madden player in the world, and they're giving him his own playbooks. I don't know what that's going to look like, but uh, get ready to get absolutely dotted up by 12-year-olds. And then the last thing that is... Oh, we got two more things. So the two more things that are new as of, I guess, yesterday afternoon. Crossplay is confirmed to be back. I also believe this is saying, like, PC is now going to be crossplay. I don't really know what that means, but as you guys can see here, crossplay allows you to connect and play with your friends and family of different gaming communities. Now... I mean, crossplay I thought was already here, but I think they're just improving upon it. And the last thing that isn't crossplay is actually the songs. Now, historically, I always just mute the Madden music because I don't want to get copyrighted from like listening to Snoop Dogg. But like, we actually got bangers on here. We got big name artists. You boys know I'm about to get lit for Doja Cat, just blasting in my Madden lobby. Big Sean Quavo. 
like Eminem or Joe Burrow, Lil Nas X, okay, Snoop Dogg, we got Drake is back in Madden, love to see that, Green Day, that's a Madden 12 legend, 21 Pilots, Flo Millie, are you kidding me, Travis Scott, 50 Cent, Baby Keem, and Kendrick Lamar, that might be the best song we actually have in here so far, Jack Harlow, I actually like loving on me a lot, Offset, yeah, yeah, actually, like, Loki chefed up an absolute banger of lobby music. That is everything new within, I guess, 11.30 to about 4 p.m. yesterday. Halfbacks and, you know, some more leaks. Now, we got middle linebackers coming later today, and if we get more leaks, they'll be in that video. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything as soon as it goes live, make sure to check me out on Twitter. It's Moshi Madden, or just links should be in the description. All, I mean, I can't post Madden videos, like, I can't post videos on YouTube as soon as things go live, or else I will lose the battle versus the YouTube algorithm, and that is never fun. Now, that is fit. That is everything. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and, uh, we'll catch you later today with middle linebackers, and hopefully so many more leaks, but until then, no, oh, peace!